الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله تعالى من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبد الله ورسوله My dear brother and sister of Islam سلام الله عليكم ورحمته وبركاته This is our fourth week today or our fourth Friday that we have been missing Salat Al-Jum'ah in the Masajid and attending the Khutbah May Allah سبحانه وتعالى يرسل لنا الفرج and يرسل لنا uh, 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 patient اللهم امين therefore we can start praying it's unfortunately still the Kaaba is still closed and the Haram is still closed may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before the month of Ramadan especially the month of Ramadan is approaching we need to uh, exert ourselves brother and sister from dua therefore we can inshallah the Haram and the Masajid to open before the month of Ramadan Allahumma Ameen Allahumma Ameen Allahumma Ameen Brother and sister, we know everything is in God's hand. He's, he's controlling everything on earth and beyond. So if we ask him sincerely, he may accept our dua. Brother and sister, we are in a very, a very tough situation. And we should be at this time very united, help one another, take care of one another, check on one another. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, he tell us in Surah Ali Imran, بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم واعتصموا بحبل الله جميعا ولا تفرقوا واذكروا نعمة الله عليكم إذ كنتم أعداء فألف بين قلوبكم فأصبحتم بنعمته إخوانا وكنتم على شفا حفرة من النار فأنقذكم منها وكنتم على شف حفرة من النار فأنقذكم منها كذلك يبين الله لكم آياته لعلكم تهتدون. What does this mean, brother and sister? Allah سبحانه وتعالى Allah سبحانه وتعالى tell us and hold the fast all of you together to the robe of Allah and do not be divided among yourself and remember Allah's favor on you and you were enemy to each other. But he joined your hearts together so that, uh, so that by his grace you become brothers in Islam. And you were on the edge of fire and he saved you from it. Though so Allah makes his ayah clear to you so that you may be guided. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from that coronavirus. Allahumma ameen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Kuntu ala shafa hufratin min al nar. You were right on the edge of fire, about to fall, or you may be even falling, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala catch you in the last second, or it's the last fraction of a second. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He could do that with the coronavirus. Uh, also, brother and sister, I would like to share with you from Surah Al Ma'idah. Ba'da bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim. Wa ta'awanu ala al birri wa taqwa. ولا تعاونوا على الإثم والعدوان واتقوا الله واتقوا الله إن الله شديد العقاب. Here Allah Subhanahu wa Taala tell us help one another for bir and the, which is the righteous uh, righteousness and also the taqwa. And do uh, do not help one another in sin and transgression and fear Allah. Verily Allah is His punishment is so severe. My dear brother and sister of Islam, there is a lot of brother today and sister, they are unemployed. They are absolutely cannot make ends meet because some of them, they live in from one check to another. We should not be sitting here and watching and, and waiting for them to ask us. We should get out of our way and help them and ask, what do you need? What can I do to you to help you out? Muslim and non-Muslim, because they are, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created everyone. So we should help one another. Make, make a phone call and ask your, uh, your brother or sister uh, in Islam or outside of Islam and ask them, what can I, how is your family, how is everyone is? 
What can I do to help you? Is anything I can do? Please let me know. So, brother and sister, we need to increase that, especially the month of Ramadan, the month of mercy, the month that the Nazula Quran is coming. So we need to gear up and, and start thinking what we're going to do in Ramadan different than the last Ramadan. We need to, to, to remember, we need to do zakat, we need to do takbirat, we need to do tasbihat, we need to do dua, we need to do qiyam al layl we need to do all this even we, the masajid, if still closed, is still our obligation. We do it at home, brother and sister. You get, you get your family together and do taraweeh at home with your family, your, your wife and your children, and, and, uh, and do massive dua. So we cannot say, well, the masajid is closed, so I'm not going to, to, uh, to, to pray taraweeh or I'm not going to, to, uh, to do massive dua or whatever. No. We still have that obligation and we really truly need it, especially in the situation we are in. I would like to talk to you about the masajid, brother and sisters. The masajid, as you know, is closed. When it's closed, there is no income coming in every Friday because a lot of generous brother, every Friday, they put $10 in the box, $15 or $300, whatever amount they put every week. So that donation, it goes to various masajid, it's been cut off, it's been stopped. But the expenses still, the masajid still have security guards. They still have uh, uh, utilities, uh, which is water, electricity for security. You have to have the lights on, insurance, and so on. Uh, all this stuff is still going. And there is some masajid, they have a cushion to help in a situation like this. And some of them, they do not have that cushion because this is, was really, truly was unexpected. And God knows how long or when it's going to stop. I'm encouraging each one of you hearing this message, brother and sister, to donate, to continue to the message of whatever you used to do. This, therefore, when we open, inshallah, the message is ready for us and we're not in any financial crisis. Uh, also, uh, I would like to, uh, Ask, uh, you know, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, some of these leaders could listen to this message or they get to it somehow. If we do a global prayer day, global prayer day, what I mean from global pr pr prayer, prayer day, the majority of the, the, the big countries, all these leaders, like when they have issues and then they, the, uh, everyone in the United Nations, they get together and they try to solve whatever issues they have. I would love to see at least all the, uh, the big countries, they get together on the phone and they agree on one day and a certain time that we all be praying the same day, same amount of time together. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will, I believe, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will relieve us from the crisis we are in. If we globally get together and to unite, it. you heard earlier, this one is, is for every human being. We should be together in this situation and ask Allah with one voice. And we ask Allah for repentance because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He tell us He is Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. He told us that. So we need to take advantage of this invitation and unite ourselves and I hope and pray they think about it and then we can we can inshallah leave this uh, uh, coronavirus and stay away from us and also I would like to share with you from uh, from Surah Al-Hajr by the Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell us نَبِّ عِبَادِي أَنِّي أَنَا الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ وَأَنَّ عَذَابِي هُوَ الْعَذَابُ الْأَلِيمُ I love I love this verse a lot Again, Nabi ibadi anni ana. It's it's double assurance. Allah subhanahu wa taala emphatically saying, "Ana al-Rahim, Ana al-Rahman al-Rahim, Ana al-Ghafur rahim Ask me, and He will respond. So, brother and sister, let us exert ourselves all the time, especially when the month of Ramadan is coming. Uh, and then, inshallah, inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa taala will open our doors, and we can go to pray. But brother and sister, I would like to talk about uh, life and death. A lot of us uh, full of fear from that coronavirus because we're afraid we might be inflected with this virus and then we might end up dying. And we're afraid of death. Why we should be afraid of death? 
we should not really be afraid of death. And I'm not saying that, that you be careless about yourself from the coronavirus. No, you still have to take your precaution and to take care of yourself and make sure you clean your hand and so on. Do not surrender to the situation, but we should not be afraid of death when the death happened. And I'm going to explain to you why. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in Surah Al-Anbiya, بعد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم كل نفس ذائقة الموت ونبلو ونبلوكم بالشر والخير فتنة وإلينا ترجعون كل نفس ذائقة الموت ونبلوكم بالشر والخير فتنة فتنة وإلينا ترجعون Every soul shall have taste of death and we test you by evil by evil things and by good things uh, with a trial and to and, and to us you will be returned you come back to us again and also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell us in Surah Al-Munafiqun وَلَنْ يُؤَخِّرُ اللَّهُ نَفْسًا إِذَا جَاءَ أَجَلُهَا وَاللَّهُ خَبِيرٌ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ Allah will never give a delay a soul once his appointed time will come and Allah is all aware of what you do so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never delay a soul when it's, uh, when it's time comes. So brother and sister here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us so many verses in the Holy Quran. You should feel secure. When your time comes, you're not going to lose anything at all from it. If every, every second has been written to you in advance, you're going to get it inshallah. Now, what, uh, about again, fearing of death. Brother and sister, uh, if I would like to, to look at death from a different angle, from a different perspective, to think about you meeting someone that we are anxious to see. For example, let us say that you, uh, you have a, your favorite celebrity uh, that you really admire and you love to meet that person somehow one way or take pictures with him. Uh, and you've been given that opportunity. How excited are you going to be to meet that celebrity? Either it could be a sports or whatever items uh, that this person is very famous of. You're going to be extremely very happy and excited. How about if you've been given the opportunity to meet, let us say, the 10 most famous leaders in the world, most famous president in the world. You will have dinner with them and you will have pictures with them. What your status and your happiness is going to be at that moment? You're going to be extremely happy and excited. You're going to go buy new clothes and you could have someone to take uh, photos of you with these, with these uh, famous people. And then you're going to post it on Facebook or post it on YouTube or whatever because of your excitement. Okay. And now how about let's go a notch higher than this. How about if you're really being granted to meet Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. How excited you're going to be. How happy you're going to be when you're meeting Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Of course, you're going to be a lot, a lot happier and excited that you had actually been granted to meet Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Let us put all those, those human beings uh, uh, aside, brother and sister. And let us say that you've been invited personally to meet your creator. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one and the only God. How happy you should be excited. How happy you should be delighted. How you should be extremely happy that you're meeting your creator. The only time you're not going to be happy and excited and full of fear when you are not ready. When you're not ready with your good deeds, you, you, you are upset about your conduct. You're not happy the way you're dealing with people. You, 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 you're short to coming. You're not praying enough. You're not doing your zakah. You're not doing what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told you to do and what not to do. So of course, you're going to be full of fear. So brother and sister, this is the chance that you clean up your slave and do better and clean up this this way. You're not full of fear to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For example, let us say you have a person who studied for years to be, he wants to be a doctor and the time for him to come and to take his exam. The night before, 
uh, uh, we've been there, all of us, and you have been there before. The night before the exam, and you know it is tomorrow, and then you're going to be, some of you, if you're not ready, you're going to be so full of fear and upset. And some of you take uh, pills to relax you down and calm you down because you're not ready for the exam to be a doctor, to be an engineer. Okay? Now, but some others, they go into the exam the following day and they are happy, excited, relaxed, just like nothing is going to happen tomorrow. Why? Because that person is ready. He studied through the years. He gone over and over and he's sure of himself. Can we try our, do our best brother and sister to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? This is the time to do that. You have plenty of time at home with yourself and your family to, to think about it and ponder about it. What are, what, how can I improve my world, the way I'm worshiping God? How can I improve my relationship with my neighbor? How can I improve uh, my my uh, in, improve the relationship with the family and outside family? And this is you sit down and 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 uh, exert yourself of doing that. And Allah Subhanahu wa Taala He may accept and then open for us the heavens. Now everyone, of course, is dreaming to go to heaven. It's the dream of every person. Do we understand how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to judge us? If we do not understand how he's going to judge us, we are in deep trouble. We got to know how he's going to judge us. Brother and sister, let me share with you from Surah Al-Mu'minun, ba'da Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. فَمَنْ ثَقُلَتْ مَوَازِينُهُ فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ وَمَنْ خَفَّتْ مَوَازِينُهُ فَأُولَٰئِكَ الَّذِينَ خَسِرُوا خَسِرُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ فِي جَهَنَّمَ خَالِدُونَ تَلْفَحُ وُجُوهَهُمْ النَّارُ وَهُمْ فِيهَا كَالِحُونَ أَلَمْ تَكُنْ آيَاتِي تُتْلَى عَلَيْكُمْ فَكُنْتُمْ بِهَا تُكَذِّبُونَ Brother and sister, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to put our good deeds on one side of the scale and the bad deeds on the other side of the scale. If your good deeds weigh more, inshallah, you will go to heaven. If your bad deeds weigh more, you're going to go to the hellfire. Very, very easy math. So all we have to do, increase our good deeds. Do not be living on the edge. Do not be living on the edge, brother or sister. Always calculate how many good deeds you earn today and how many bad deeds you earn also today. And see if you are ahead of, of, of the game or not. Do not be on the edge. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he told us, في سورة هود بعد بسم الله عمر الرحيم إن الحسنات يذهبن السيئات ذلك ذكرى للذاكرين The good deeds erases the bad deed The good deeds erases the bad deed And, and, and very 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 simple All you have to do if you did bad deeds The following day or the same day uh, Repent of course And then ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala To forgive you And then also do more good deeds Therefore, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, forgive your bad deed. Allahumma taqabbal minna rabbil alameen. Brother and sister, I'm going to do dua, and all you have to do, say ameen, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept. Ba'da bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma khfir lil muslimina wal muslimat, al-ahyai minhu wal amwaat. Rabbana dhalamna anfusna, wa in lam taqfir lana wa tarhamna, lanakunanna min al-khasirin. ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكونن من الخاسرين يا منزل الماء من السماء يا من قلت للنار كن بردا وسلاما على إبراهيم يا من تقول للشيء كن فيكون أعفو عنا أعفو عنا وارحمنا ورد عنا يا رحمن يا رحيم ربنا لا تؤخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إصرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين اللهم اشفينا يا شافي من هذا الوباء اللهم اشفينا يا شافي من هذا الوباء اللهم ارفع عنا غضبنا يا رب العالمين اللهم ارفع غضبك عنا يا رب العالمين اللهم ارفع غضبك عنا يا أرحم الراحمين يا الله اللهم اصرف عنا كل مكروه وسوء اللهم اصرف عنا كل مكروه وسوء 
ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار ربنا إننا سمعنا مناديا ينادي للإيمان أن آمنوا بربكم فآمنا ربنا فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا وكفر عنا سيئاتنا وتوفنا مع الأبرار ربنا أفرغ علينا صبرا وثبت أقدامنا وثبت أقدامنا وأنصرنا على قوم الكافرين My dear brother and sister Islam I would like to thank each one of you for listening to me today and I would like to ask you and, uh, uh, and ask each one of you please forward this message to everyone it may open someone's heart it may uh, uh, give him tranquility and let me share with you the last verse here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he tell us ya ayyuha alladhina amanu istainu bis sabri wa salah inna allah ma'a sabirin ya ayyuha alladhina amanu istainu bis sabri wa salah in Allah, in Allah, ma'asabirin. Oh, you believe, seek help through patience and prayer. Surely Allah with those who is patient. Salamu Allah alaykum wa rahmatu wa barakatuh. And inshallah, we see you soon. Take care of yourself and take care of your family.